Hello, my name is Pasquale Shanti. I'm a principal lighting look dev artist, and this will be my tutorial, The Rocky Forest Path. I will create a scene from scratch using Quix Omega Scan's assets, and for lighting, we will use the Sun Calculator plugin with correct physical values for a sunny, bright, clear day. I will go through the creation of a composition, lighting mood, color grading, and final cinematics to achieve a realistic look with the latest Unreal Engine 5.2, Lumen, and Nanite. The first thing we need to do is to gather image reference that will help us on guiding the intention of what we're looking for. In this case, I was searching for some rocky forest path. Let's create a simple default terrain and modify it using the Sculpt and Smooth tool in landscape mode. Next, we will place a post-process volume into the scene and let's make sure that we have enabled Infinite Extend Unbound so that the post-process volume will cover the entire level. For now, we will insert for EV100 minim and max a value of 15. We will go through the lighting further in this video. In the plugin section, search for Sun Calculator and enable it. Then restart the editor. Once we started the editor, search in place actor tab for Sun and drag and drop into the scene the Sun and Sky Blueprint. In the directional light, for now we will insert a value of 111,000 lux. And we will talk about this further in the video. Once you create your composition, you could select all the assets, right click on them, and then select level, create pack level actor. This is gonna create a prefab. It is very useful to use in your compositions. For the landscape, I downloaded Quixel Mossy Ground Material and tweaked the scale to adapt it to the terrain. Now let's talk about lighting. For this I will use the Sunny 16 rule based on photography and adapt it to Umbrel Engine. In the Sunny 16 rule, based on a bright sunny clear day, the f-stop will be 16. For ISO 100 and 1 one hundredth of a second for shutter speed. For brightest sunlight, the value is expressed in lux. So we will insert a value of 120,000 lux for the directional light. Next is the EV100. Based on clear sky and full sunlight, we will insert a value around 15. In this case, I insert 15.2 for minim and max EV100. So when we switch from auto exposure to manual, the lighting needs to be the same. As we see in the manual settings, for the camera I insert the sunny 16 rule values as I mentioned before. And switching from auto exposure to manual, the lighting is the same. For the skylight, make sure that real time capture is enabled and for intensity a value of 1 is good. Another great tool is the color calibrator to verify if the brightness, contrast, reflections and shadows are in a good range. The only color grading I did for this scene is with the LUT 3D that I created with Photoshop. It gives a nice boost of contrast to the scene. All the assets that I download from Quixel Bridge are set to Nanite and with 8K textures. Now I will tune some sky atmosphere.
The intention is to create a rocky forest path, a cinematic, similar to this video. Once I download the assets, I start to create a composition, making sure that the seams are not seen, covering them with other assets. We will speed up this process. The trees are also from Quixel Mega Scans. I will insert some manually and then brush the remaining.
I will use ray trace hardware with virtual shadow maps. The graphic cards I'm using is the RTX 4090. 